Hey babes, what's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl Susie, and I'm back at it with another mother loving video. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the family. So if you're here, clearly you're looking to um, see how to detox your underarms, how to brighten up your underarms, and you know the process of switching over to natural deodorant. So if y'all looking to know or learn about any of those things that I just said, then this video is for you. Um, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Come on and join the family because it's lit over here and your girl got a lot going on for y'all. But anyways, um, so I was looking into like um, the deodorant that we normally use. Um, my favorite right now is the Gris the sheer powder this is literally the only deodorant i have used for years um because i don't like all that smell good stuff like the lavender flowers i don't want my deodorant to smell like that i just like the more subtle fresh scent you know um but that's just me um my perfume can do all that other stuff but anyways so i googled and looked into it y'all know google my best friend but i googled and looked into um, like regular deodorant, it has so much negative things that we're putting into our body. Um, like the aluminum, um, it get clogs in our pores. So, um, before you detox, I mean, before you switch over to natural deodorant, this is something that you need to know. You need to detox first. Some people just just do it, jump over and do it, and it works out for some, but not most. So it is very good to detox your arms before doing it. Um, so I am gonna be detoxing my arms with you guys today. But um, I am not gonna get into detail on how I make the clay. I will be telling y'all what I use. So um, if y'all want a more detailed video, make sure y'all comment down below on how to make the um, detox clay or whatnot. But this video will be like a process, a journey um it'll be super fast for you guys but it'll be longer for me i am going to go through my two to four weeks uh process with y'all and i'm gonna update y'all and let y'all know like the pros the cons and if it's worth it all that good stuff so make sure y'all stay tuned but let's go ahead and detox these underarms oh oh oh, oh where's my phone okay so it is one more thing that i do want to say so like I said, Google is my best friend. So I actually Googled, um, cause I just got waxed today, by the way. Um, and I actually Googled like, uh, is it okay to, you know, wax your, I mean, detox after you, um, after waxing. So basically it says, wax it in any areas open up the hair follicles, which will allow a detoxificating mask to penetrate deeper into removing toxins so that's really good so if anybody uh do wax remember next time you wax if you uh thinking about switching over to natural deodorant waxing will help to remove more toxins you will start to smell and sweat um more than usual but i am going to let y'all know my journey my process and how it works for me so let's go ahead and do Detox. Let's go. So y'all, I will be using the bentonite clay, the Indian healing clay, whatever y'all want to call it. Um, I'm using two tablespoons of everything I'm putting in, the apple cider vinegar in the water. Okay, y'all, so I did go ahead and change my shirt. I got this little butter knife because I don't have a spatula to wipe it under my arm. So we're basically going to go ahead and apply the paste to our underarms. And when you're doing it, it is going to be a little hard when you're trying to put it on the other arm because you don't want to, you want to kind of keep them up. You don't want them to, you know, close up. Um, so put it on the best way that you can however that is it was a little runny so I did add a little more clay to it because I think I put too much water but yeah 
It's a little bit too much going on, so y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and apply mine's off of cam. I'm sure y'all don't need to see me put it on, but yeah, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so, um, I got them distributed under my underarm, so I did spread it out a little more, like, up here and down here. My underarms are not actually this big, but, um, it says leave it to about 15 to 20 minutes. So I am going to go ahead and set a timer for 23 minutes because that's my lucky number. So we're going to set the timer and then I'll be back um, literally in a second. But 22 minutes for me, a second for you guys. Bye. And you don't want to put your arms down, so yeah. Bye, see you later. Okay, y'all. So, <laughs> my 23 minutes are up, as you can see. Uh, I kind of sort of, on this arm, I kind of sort of put, like, clearly a little bit too much right here. So, it's still a little wet but I might still wait but this is how it should look um, all crusty and crunchy and whatnot. I heard that if you try to shower with it then it could clog up your drain so I'm just gonna take like an old rag and just wipe it off and then I'll be back okay y'all so these are my underarms I literally just took it off so they still wet but um so now that is it with the regular deodorant which is not so good for you throw it in the trash because I'm done your girl is over to the natural deodorant so I am going to like I did my reviews and also on uh, one of my co-workers she also told me to use native native if y'all haven't check it out check out the reviews but native deodorant is supposed to be the best one out there on the market but i'm going to be the judge of that i will let y'all know how it works out for me i have some on now it smells absolutely amazing i love it powder it's nice and soft and like fresh just how i like it so so far so good also y'all I did want to let y'all know it also helps with detoxing the arms if you use natural soap I have already been using natural soap and I do want to show y'all um, the magic that this soap has done for me but that's gonna be for another video but it has really helped me because I have sensitive skin up here and like on my back but it has helped me tremendously and that's gonna be just for a later video so make sure y'all stay tuned for that but yeah I am gonna go chill um bay home the dinner is ready and we got a couple hours to watch some shows and my work is done for today so I will see y'all in the next update bye Hey y'all, so I am here with an update. This is day four and this is day two of detoxing. So I did read on Google that you can detox every day if you want, it's safe. But I prefer just doing it two to three times out the week. So yesterday y'all, I just wanted to update y'all on, um, it's starting to get a little like a just a little bit chilly out here it's not as hot as it's been it's like in the 70s um so I decided to wear a jacket yesterday and we went out me and we went out for drinks or whatnot but I just want to tell y'all I was hot and I didn't really want to take off my jacket so I kept it on my arms did feel like they were sweating a little more than usual because I really don't sweat and I really um honestly I'm not I don't have bad hygiene so I'm not doing this because of my hygiene because I rarely very rarely get musty like I can go 
a whole day without wearing deodorant. I just wanted to switch over because of all the bad things that's in regular deodorant. But anyway, so I was sweating. Um, but when I felt under my arms, I didn't really feel like they were sweating. But I did feel, you know, that the deodorant did hold. Um, and like I said before, I really love the scent. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, I actually have not, I don't smell right now. And this is from yesterday. Um, I haven't got in the shower yet. Um, so I'm about to do that now. Well, I'm going to, um, go ahead and detox my underarms first and then I'm going to hop in the shower, but I'm not going to record because I already showed y'all how I do it so I'll see y'all in the next update hi baby come here say hi this is my baby to all of my new subscribers this is polo he never wants to see y'all say hi boy say hi boy that's my baby y'all my first shout but yeah I'll see you guys in the next update bye Hey y'all. So it's me, Susie. I'm back with an update for my underarms. Um, this is week one. I just want to tell y'all I went a couple days without deodorant. I did really well, but um I went again. I was showering and everything, but I did it again. Um and I did get really musty after I think like the the like later on that second day, I believe. But yeah, see you guys on the next update. Hey babe, how are y'all doing today? I am back with an update on the natural deodorant. So like I told you guys, I have been using Native. It's been working out pretty, pretty well for me. Um, I literally have no complaints. Um, I can say about the Native deodorant, you do have to like wipe it on more times than you do with the regular deer stop polo no but i can kind of compare it to if you use shea butter and you know how thick it is and you keep having to you know excuse me to wipe it in to get that you know so it's kind of the same sense um also the native deodorant does not last as long as regular deodorant. I'm totally fine with that. I haven't had like any days where I got like really musty. I still can go like a day without wearing deodorant. I thought like people really be over exaggerating shit. Like I thought that it was gonna be like, oh my God, girl, you must be as hell. Like I haven't had that experience personally, so. I can't relate, um, but to each his own. Some people hygiene are, you know, a little different from others. It's really not like, it's really not like anything different for me, honestly. Um, and that's about it. I like the native deodorant. Um, I do say like if you do switch over, you will actually want to carry your deodorant with. Uh, deer. You will actually want to carry your deodorant in your purse, just especially if you're like out all day. You might want to have to uh, reuse it again um, because, like I said, it, the smell doesn't stay there as long as normal deodorant. Um, I'm trying to make sure I got everything because this is going to be the end of this video. Um, Polo, stop staring at me. I see you. Um, I definitely recommend it. If you're thinking about it, go ahead and give it a try. Um, depending on your hygiene, you might have to switch um, and try different deodorants. But right now, I'm gonna stick with Native. It's doing really good for me. That's all I have. If you guys have any questions, if I didn't touch on anything that you need to know, make sure y'all comment down below. Comment down some video ideas. And also, I do wanna let you guys know that I will not 
be doing i'm trying to do follow my niche thingy and i'm gonna go with um diy clothing like as y'all know i love to sew i love to create um different outfits and clothing dresses all that stuff um upside on um so i am going to be more so basic basicing i don't even know that's probably not a word i'm gonna just basic my channel on literally strictly nothing but um creating DIYs and I really don't want to but I'm trying to grow my channel I'm trying to see what's best for my channel and the my clothing videos does really well so I am going to try my best to stick to that so for a little while or however long it takes for me to just create straight content for just that that's what's going to be going on um so make sure y'all stay tuned i got a lot of stuff in mind i'm actually got three or four videos that i'm trying to shoot really soon so make sure i stay tuned um and that's about it make sure y'all follow me on my social media listed down below um i love you guys oh so much i think polo wants to say hi today say hi stinky say hi no, you don't want to speak today? Say hi. What is that? <laughs> he be acting so bougie. But I love you guys oh so much. And I'm out. Peace.